What is up guys, it's the Amphibian HD back with another video for you guys, and today we are going to be finding the costumes outside of Swindon. And as I said in my update before, I think I fixed the lag. So let's do this. Hopefully everything goes smoothly this time, and hopefully everything is not too laggy. And it's all okay. So, and the pocket mode is off, so we could go out into Swindon and go out in the world. So, let's do this thing. This may be a longer video, because, like, outside of Swindon takes a longer time to explore. So, yeah, this is going to be a longer video. Just a warning. And okay, so we're in Swindon, and hopefully it's not too laggy here. We'll let it load a bit. Okay, I think we're ready. Alright, pretty laggy, but well, I can deal with it. Okay, so first, oh yeah, first... That penguin costume from the fifth present in the Christmas update. Right over here on top of this church looking building. So here is the penguin costume. And that's the penguin costume. So I'm gonna respawn home. And first we will go over here. And go on the golden cannon. And that will bring us to Swindon on Sea, which there are a couple costumes that you could get there. And come on. Okay, we should be good here. Alright, we're good. Okay. So let's go in the Golden Cannon and launch ourselves. Woo! Okay. So there's one right at Swindon on Sea, and there's one over at that island over there that you can get. Which there's a golden cannon to go over there, so it's going to be pretty easy to get over there instead of having to take a jet ski. Alright, so first off. Okay. So first off, um. There is a scuba frog costume right at Swindon on Sea that you can get. And there we go. And now we have to go find the golden cannon that's somewhere over here. And that will bring us to that island, which will get us another costume over there. Okay, so I think it's somewhere up on one of these hills. These hill thingies. I pretty much know where it is though. It's not going to take a while for me to find it. So let's just go and find it. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay, I think I know where it is. It's right over here. 
Let's just slide because it's so much easier to get around like this. Oh yeah, don't fall in the water because that wouldn't be good. Yep, there it is. Okay. So now let's launch ourselves over there on the island. And I think there is cars over here, if I'm not mistaken. So you could drive the cars instead. Yep, there they are. Alright, so let's drive a car. Over to that costume. Hopefully our car doesn't flip over. And I'm pretty sure it's on the hill over to the... Yep, I already see the costume, alright. So you want to go over to this hill right over there. Actually, I'm screwing the car. I'm just gonna run. Or slide. This is so much easier, to be honest. to go up this hill right here. And there should be the Minecraft costume up here. Which is a pretty cool costume, in my opinion. Now I just gotta go up this hill, which I showed you, it's like, where you get shot in the cannon, um, it's to the left of where I hit the island. It's on that hill. So let's go and get this costume. And then maybe I'll get a car door from one of the cars and cheat to get the, um, to get to the Zorb Mountain instead of freaking going all the way there. Okay, so it's somewhere here. I think it's right up here. Yep, there it is. I see it. Alright, now let's go get it. And here's the Minecraft costume.
And yeah, it's pretty cool looking. So now, let's go respawn home. And maybe I'll go grab a car and get a car door from it. Because it would be much easier. So, I'm going to stop the recording right now and I'll come back to get back to you guys when I get a car door. Alright guys, so I got a car door, and now we can bounce really high. If you don't know that glitch, um, if you grab a car door, car door and then bounce on a trampoline, you get really high, as you can see. So, maybe if you bounce on a blimp, you could get even higher. So, I'm gonna actually test that out. Let's see. Oh my god! Holy crap! Alright, we're gonna get over there, we're gonna get over there. So you want to go over to the the mountain with the Zorbs, this big snowy mountain right over here. And you can actually find a decent amount of costumes in this one area. You can find... There's actually one on the mountain, there's one to the um, right of the mountain, and there's one right in... There's one right behind the mountain. So, I think I know where the one to the, um, whatchamacallit, the right of the mountain is, but I'm not completely sure, but I think I know where it is. But this definitely made it a lot quicker, for sure. And that's not a costume right there, that is actually just a respawn toilet. And actually, we could drive the moon buggy around. And find the Skyrim costume that we could find on top of the uh, Zorb Mountain somewhere. Which I forget where it actually is on the mountain, but I have an idea. Okay, this is not gonna help actually. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Of course, I should have put my settings, on, my graphic settings on Ultron, but meh. That makes the video less laggy, right? So now we just gotta find the Skyrim frog somewhere. I'm not going to cut it because I want to show you guys exactly where it is. It might be over here somewhere. Hopefully. I really can't remember where it was, but it might be on here. slide. Come on, get a good fart. Get a good fart. There we go. Alright, well I'm going to get an overview of the mountain to have an idea of where it might be. So... It might be over here somewhere. If I'm not mistaken. But I think it's somewhere over here. If not, then it's gonna be on the other side. But I think it's over here. Yeah, it should be somewhere in this area. Sorry this is taking so long, guys, but, like, I want to show you where exactly it is, and, like, you have, and then, then you don't have to find the area for yourself, but I'm probably not making it too easy for the directions. 
but if you when you get on the mountain this is to the left of these orbs where the orbs are but I think the, the Skyrim costume is over here if I am not mistaken it should be over here And we still got a little bit to go, guys, so <laughs> bear with me. Oh my god. This is gonna take forever to find this damn Skyrim frog. down there but I don't want to jump down there either because like that means like I have to go all the way back up here screw it let's go over here actually I should have gotten the respawn toilet because then I could have respawned to get the forest frog Spoilers, um, but that doesn't really spoil anything, because a forest frog could be anything. Um, alright, so, come on, where is the Skyrim frog? Like, oh my gosh. I'm really sorry guys for this if you're getting really tired of me walking around in a Minecraft suit trying to find the Skyrim frog. But I'm but like I'm really sorry. You can skip the video if you want. To whenever I find it, so you can do that if you want, but I'm gonna record all of this. I'm really clueless right now. I'm gonna go to the Zorbs actually and do a respawn to go to the respawn toilet so I can do that. So I'm actually gonna cut it right here. Alright guys, so I got the respawn toilet, so now back to this freaking Skyrim frog. After this, I'm pretty sure we have three more costumes to get. We have, um, we have two that are by the Zord Mountain and one that is far from the Zord Mountain, but that should be that's easier to find. So, um, I'm actually going to take the risk of going down. Yeah. Um. Wherever that was. Oh my god, I can't remember where the freaking was now. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me today? I can't, like, find anything. For nothing. Oh my god. This is, like, insanity. Of how bad I am at finding costumes today. I'm sorry if this video is an hour, and I'm sorry if 30 minutes of the- <gasps> Oh my god, finally! Okay. So I went from the Zorbs, I went behind, over to here, and over to the left. Sorry if you can't find it that well, but I'll go up there to see like what location of the mountain it was. So finally we found it, oh my god, we finally found it. 
Holy crap, and this is a pretty cool costume too, I like it. So let's go up the mountain to see what point in the mountain it is. And then you will you can get an idea of where it is. So let's go up the mountain. We'll go up the mountain to see... where okay so like it's like right behind the zor the last zorb you go by and it's over here so it's like in the between that mountain and that mountain and you go up here and then you find it right over there so now we are going to go and find another frog which is to the right of the um sorb mountain and is on like a cliff that's that has all water to the right of it which i'm pretty sure it's over by here hopefully i'm not mistaken and this is actually where it is because if I am mistaken, that would kind of suck. Even though I did the respawn toilet, so I could just respawn back on top of the mountain. Because I also have to find another costume that's behind these orb mountains. So I got the respawn point, so I could just go right back up there. But I think I might have saw a porta potty. Maybe? Yep, I see one. Alright, so it's on that cliff over there next and there's all water to the right of it and it's to the right of the Zorb mountain and this will unlock you the force frog or um this character totoro or to totoro from this um show or movie that i'm not sure where it's from but i just heard it's totoro from something And here we go, this is the forest frog. Cool. And now we are going to respawn toilet. And now we're back at the Zorbs. And what I meant by like the last Zorb you go by is um, this Zorb right here. And then you go up there and do all that. So next we are going to get the hero frog, which is like the Legend of Zelda, the Link frog. Link from Legend of Zelda frog. So I know where this is too. I think I know what cliff it is. And it is like literally right behind the Zorb mountain. And I think I have an idea where it is. Should be somewhere over here. Okay, and it is right over here on that thicker cliff over there I th think it's over there where the all that um all that dirt and sand or whatever you want to call it all the sand is next to if you can see it down there it's that thicker cliff that's um to the the left of the um sand that big sand pile right over there it is to the cliff right to the left of that so i'm pretty sure there's a costume here and yep i already see the porta potty i already see that dot so yeah this is where you could get the hero frog or the link frog and then after this we have one more costume which i know where it is it will just take a little while to get there because we have to take the jet ski
and on the cliff, it is right over here somewhere. And right there. And here it is, the Link Frog, or the Hero Frog, whatever you want to call it. And there it is. It's pretty cool looking. It's like the Toon Link um, character. And now we're going to respawn home. And then we're going to go to the Golden Cannon that's over there. So we just get a lot, just gonna get a lot of air. All right, maybe a little more. Actually, I'm gonna bounce off the blimp as well. So let me go off this trampoline. Off this trampoline onto the blimp. No. All right. One more jump should do it. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Alright, so we'll jump on the blimp right here. And then there is a golden cannon right on the corner of the wall. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, so there's a golden cannon right on the um, corner of the wall, and that is the place we spawn in right over there. So, it is behind you in the left corner. So, now we are going to launch ourselves to the other golden cannon that is located over there. Which it should be right here. Yep. So let's go in this golden cannon. And then that will launch us. And now we want to go not to the blimp. We want to go over the hill. And we want to get in a jet ski. Because we'll have to drive a jet ski for a little while to get this costume and then that will be it for all the costumes outside Swindon so you want to go over here go over this then you want to fall down and you want to get in a jet ski and here they are right here so you want to get in a jet ski We're in a jet ski, now you want to drive to the left. No, no, not to the left, to the right. To the right. And just follow my directions. This is going to take a little while, so we're just going to have a nice ride in our jet ski with Link. Our little Link frog. And, uh, yeah. So. Uh, what should we talk about? Um, well, we should talk about Amazing Frog, because wouldn't that be nice? Well, um, actually, as a matter of fact, um, I actually ordered Amazing Frog, like, a while ago. I ordered Amazing Frog during F0.2.4. It was so laggy, like, oh my god. And then, like, I started seeing it on YouTube again. I started, I watched, right when F0.2.7 came out, I saw it on YouTube again. And I was like, oh, because I saw one of my favorite YouTubers, Matt Shea, play it. So, um, I saw that, and I was like, oh, this is so cool. They added a lot of stuff. So I played it again, and it was a little less laggy, and I, stu I stuck with it for the rest of the time. So I missed a couple updates, actually. And um, soon enough, they came, they optimized it, they optimized the game way more. They added so much more graphic types. They added um, pocket mode, which is really helpful. 
and as you can see, like it's super uh, more, it's more definitely more smooth than it was before outside of Swindon, because before it was so laggy, but now like it's it's better. Outside of Swindon works better than the inside of Swindon. Um, for um lag wise, like outside of Swindon, I get less lag than inside of Swindon without pocket mode. So yeah. Also, Gaz and Howe are, really, like, really awesome, because, like, actually, a while ago, I saw PewDiePie play the Ouya version of it, and then I saw it was coming on PC, I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be so amazing. Like, I saw it, I saw it on Steam once, and I was like, oh my god, this is so awesome. So I got it, and it was super laggy, so I was all sad. I was, I wasted, I was like, I wasted $10 for nothing, but then I, got, I installed it again, and I was like, oh, this is so awesome, and it's less laggy, so... Yeah, thank you guys and Hal for making a freaking amazing game. I would rate this game in either a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, because it's definitely one of my favorite games of all time. And it's funny, because frogs fit perfectly with, like, I'm glad they chose a frog instead of, they could have chose any other animal, but I'm glad they chose a frog, because a frog is, like, awesome. I, and that, like... This game actually inspired my new YouTube name, The Amphibian HD. It actually inspired it. So. Pretty cool. And I like frogs too, they're cool. And amphibians. They're pretty cool. And I can't wait for the Unity 5 update. And also, with this new screen recorder, I'm gonna actually start making Let's Plays of Amazing Frogs. Amazing Frog. So when that new update comes out, I will start doing that, which I can't do it now because I unlocked literally everything in the game right now, from F0.0.1 to F0.2.8e. <laughs> But yeah, like I was so sad when the when amazing when I found out Amazing Frog was it wasn't on like Xbox or PlayStation or computer. And then I saw it on Steam, and I was like, oh my god, this is going to be awesome, because I saw, um, Splash and PewDiePie play it on the Wii And it looked really fun, which is even better on the PC, because, like, they added a lot more stuff, like, SCP wasn't in Ouya, Cof the coffee uh, place wasn't in the Ouya, outside of Swindon wasn't even in the Ouya, the, um, I think Vault LOL was. Um, but, um, what else was there? Um, hmm, the gas cans were in the Ouya, flamethrowers weren't in the Ouya, fuel cans were in the Ouya, but I don't, I, you couldn't set anything on fire. Um, pigeons are, weren't in the Ouya, um, Driving cars wasn't even new, yeah. You can drive cars in the new, yeah, version if I can remember correctly. You can only drive the Lunar Rovers, I think. Because I remember seeing DTS the TDS. He um, said that you can drive cars now. And you weren't able to before. Weren't, you weren't able to before in the Wii yeah, version, so that's pretty cool. Except for the Lunar the lunar Rovers and on the moon, because who wouldn't want to drive those? Why put him, why put him up there in the Ouya if you can't drive him? All right, I think I see the island. No, I don't actually. I don't see the island. We're still a decent amount. Oh what? We're still a decent amount of ways away from it. Um, I think. Oh no, I think it's the TDS. But yeah. I don't remember, but maybe I'll go see it. I'm not sure if it's there, or if it's like a little farther. But yeah, this game is freaking amazing. The developers are freaking amazing. And I think it's really cool that they put Easter eggs of YouTubers who play the game. Because they actually told me that I was going to be in the game soon, which is really freaking awesome. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah, I think I see it. Because I think I see a port on it. But, like, that's freaking awesome. Like, I've never been in a game, featured in a game before. And this is gonna be super awesome. It's gonna be something brand new for me. And it's gonna be awesome. 
love me in a game, especially in one of my favorite games of all time. Yep, I see it. We're almost there, guys. But yeah, when either F0.2.8 F or F0.2.9 comes out, I will be doing um, Let's Plays of the update. Um, unlocking stuff and all that. And all that ish. But yeah, I will be starting to making to be making game videos now since Bandicam is out. Yes, this game because Bandicam was a pain for me to record stuff on because I can only record for 10 minutes because it I got I only got the free free version but I can record all the time I want on OBS so that's awesome. The only thing is I can't use videos I just have to stop recording and go on recording when I want to cut stuff. Because, um, whatchamacallit, um, I can't put these kind of files in the editor unless, like, I can't put these in Sony Vegas, which is the editor I have, but, um, yeah, pretty cool. And, oh, my, when my new PC comes... Well, no, I hadn't ordered it, ordered it yet, but if, if and when I get a new PC, it will be much better. The graphics will be much better. Because my friend even said he's going to lend me his old graphics card, which is really good. So, he said he's going to do that for me. Give me a solid. Alright. We're here. Here's the island. And there's the costume. It is Brian from Family Guy, and this will be the last costume of the video. I hope. Wait, wait one second. You can also get a costume from an app. If you go in the Knockdown app, you can. If you get 500 Knockdowns in the Knockdown app, you can get the villain outfit, which is the Joker costume. Which there is a um, statue in Swindon, which I can show you right now. There is a statue in Swindon, which you just run into, and that unlocks the Knockdown app. And the Knockdown app, basically, you turn it on, and you get 30 seconds, I think, to um, knock down as many frogs as you can. And the, all the frogs in the city or park gyms have eggs on their head. And um, when they fall over, the eggs will break, and that counts as one knockdown. And here is the statue right here, so all you do is run into it, and then you just run into it, and then you will have the knockdown after So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you find the costumes that were outside Swindon. Sorry this video was so long because of the freaking Skyrim frog, but I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.